side of the road here, right before you turn into the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. This is US Route 95 heading north. We're getting back on US 95 heading north and it's a sharp turn. You can do it. I just did it with my fifth wheel not too long ago. You're gonna hang a right onto King Valley Road. King Road. that for a backdrop. Pretty sweet. Okay, well I've put coordinates for where you turn off a of King Road to get to my campsite. It's 14 day free camping uh, on BLM land. It's right before you enter the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. Left the campsite and uh, we're approaching the entrance to the Kofa. Again, there's BLM camping still on both sides of the road. Very scenic up in here. And off to your right, you're going to see the uh, welcome sign for Kofa. We're gonna go to a place this morning called uh, Horse Tank, the Horse Tanks. There's some Patrick Gloves. It's one of the attractions up here in Copa. So we're gonna take you up the Horse Tanks now.
too far. We went one road. We, somehow we missed the turn off to, to Horse Tank, so we, we've turned around and we're heading back toward Horse Tank. So on, uh, this is King Road. Past the turn off, uh, the Horse Tank. So that's what we're going to be looking for. Yeah, the road got just a little bit iffy. I mean, you can do it with four wheel drive, but looks like a little bit of soft gravel here. Multiple washes. Duh. It definitely is scenic. We're at one of these Kofa boondocking sites. We're just off the road, usually within, uh, within 100 feet of the road. There's fire ring, there's my truck. Look at that backdrop. And they don't want you driving off into the desert, so they post these signs at most of the campsites. But uh, yeah, if you got a truck camper or high clearance vehicle, Come back in here and do some boondocking. No cell service back here. Either uh, Verizon or AT and T. Well, I can see why we missed the road. That is BLM Road Route 42. That doesn't look like much of a route. going to horse horse tanks to where there's petroglyphs yeah a little bit more rugged than what I want to take my truck on anyhow I'm glad I went out as far as I did on King Road we're not going to go back up into horse tanks. A lot of choya and uh, saguaro cactus. I think tomorrow I'm going to take a hike up on top of a ridge. Let's see if I can look back at the campground. Uh, not campground, but where I'm boondocked at. Okay. Well, horse tanks didn't pan out, but uh, I'm glad we took this little excursion. Daddy is going to hike that mountain tomorrow. I think I'm going to go up on that mountain where that saddle is right up in there. That's where I'm going to try to go. It's five o'clock in Kofa. <laughs> no, it's not, but we make our own time, don't we? <laughs> it's Milo's a good boy.
free from the wind for a few minutes. Hiking in the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. Probably a couple miles from the campsite. Hunkered down in uh, a little golly. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. First on some rocks up here. At least I got a little bit of video without the wind blaring. Hopefully I can get some more later. a great hike today.